So, finding a place to rent in Hawaii. I just want to give you a little preparation. Um, see, this is a nice house that I live in now, but below the surface lurks several things. Um, uh, TVs that are loud because people can't hear so well, and cigar smoke. So, um, the walls are paper thin, and I'm looking for a new place. So here's what I've found. It is uh, rather alarming to look for a new place, but uh, this is what I've come up with. A studio um, for 1350 There was nothing in the room except a ceiling light. No bed, no furniture, no nothing. And uh, the man closed the door behind us, and I got a little concerned. He said he could set me up with a kitchen unit in the studio, um, <laughs> which was 10 by 10 feet and looked over the carport with its only window. That was for, as I said, 1350. Um, and it wasn't your own bathroom either. You did share it, and there was not a stick of furniture in the house. However, there was a beautiful view. Um, not from your room, though, from the uh, living room where we had to step over the guy's head who was sleeping by the door to get to it. Um, and then what I just saw was a tiny little cottage, and I was so excited about it, but the Internet didn't work. The Wi-Fi was somehow not able to upload my YouTube videos, and I really do need that. And I just had an unsettling feeling there. It must have been the feng shui. Um, but you could lie down, you could stand up, and you could even turn around. But um, that one was about six feet by six feet. But it had a solid roof. You just had to walk down a really steep staircase to get to it. And let's see, one of the better ones. Um, when people tell you that the Internet's going to be put in, don't believe it. Because if it's not there already, I can't count on it really happening, and that's a very important piece for me. Um, but I did discover that I know exactly which area I want to live on on Kauai, so even though there is the perfect place coming for me, I haven't found it yet. So just prepare yourself. Uh, walls can be really thin, people can watch TV too much, and you want to discuss smoking and pets. Uh, one place looked perfect until the man said, there's two Pekingese, Pekingese, I don't know how to say that, that dog breed that bark all day until the owner comes home. One of my uh, roommates here suggested I use the library all day after renting a place with dogs barking next to my headboard all day. Um, I'm not going to do that for $1,200 a month. So, it hasn't been all sunshine and mangoes here looking for the place, but I am going to be positive, because just around the corner you can find something wonderful, and I know it's going to happen. So, hope this was helpful. Subscribe to find out about Hawaii and worldwide adventures I go on, and uh, share if you like. See you in the next one.